Hey guys, it's Go here from Amen14. I just wanted to do a quick progress video. I'm going to be a little bit busy this week. I will still be making videos, but I might be just a little bit off schedule here and there because right now we are against four or three different teams that are all top 10 in the North America region. The family brawl has gotten really intense, really fast. So the team that we're at against now you can't really see their big players. You know, you got a 16 mil in the fifth spot. It's pretty high. But you can't really see their top players here, as usual. But we do have our own kind of hidden top players here. And this one is a little bit on the weaker end because my family prioritizes a 2-1 to one sweep strat because that's all that's required for victory. I will touch on that in a future video where I share, you know, family brawl strats, ways to organize a little bit better with people and your family. Let me see if I can show our win rate real quick. Where is it at? There it is. Okay. So yeah, we have a 100% family brawl win rate right now. We have been doing really well. We're coordinating very good. I've learned some things along the way. Um, we're going to go ahead and try to polish up a few things. You know, we got some tough fights here this week. So I'm going to use this experience, but probably before I make that video, so I can share with you the most accurate and the best information that can help you and your families. So just stay tuned for that video. I'm going to give you the full toolkit as to what we've done and how we've succeeded up to this point. We have a 100% win rate, and we are rank 3 in North America. We did have a flag change, but you can see the rank at the bottom and the rank at the top is the same. So, and of course, it's the same family name. And yeah, I think everything with this brawl is going to go pretty good. They have a couple of really strong players, but you know, we, we have some of our own. We have good coordination also. Right before we entered the waiting phase, I went through the lanes. I swapped some fights around. Like I said, I'll describe more of this here very soon when I make my video. I want to polish up my thoughts, um, my opinions, so I can give you the best of the best because that's what I try to bring to you guys on this channel. So last time I didn't share my, my uh, stats with you in the Sleeper 101 video, and We've made some substantial gains since then. Um, we have more HP in general. We have about the same counter strike. But what has really changed is the counter multiplier and the crit damage percentage along with our attack, defense, and HP bonuses. And that is a direct result of me getting a few extra red souls, this crit damage soul here, and this global attack soul here and you know just the process of this along with bumping up our crit res our defense souls we have been able to you know jump up quite a bit i will always refer to this it is the sword icon soul this in all of my videos if i say global attack soul this is the one i'm talking about because i don't want to misspeak to you guys and maybe cause an error with your guys' character on my behalf, or maybe there's a miscommunication somewhere. This is the global attack soul with the sword icon. And this is the basic attack soul. So that may be obvious to some, but I want to avoid any potential mistakes just right now. I know that some things can be lost in translation or just generally with communication. So I want to reiterate that this I will refer to as the basic attack soul. And this I will refer to as the global attack soul. So our arena rank on server is still 5, just like the Sleeper 101 video. We're holding pretty good as a low spender here. There's some people that, you know, they're kind of using me for a target dummy. And they're learning. And they're doing a great job. I can't say anything otherwise. But we're still holding pretty strong where we're at. Cross-server PvP is a totally different story. It was pretty easy to go from Plat 3 to Plat 2. Plat 2 is an absolute sea of whales, as you can see. It is just 
whale country. And I highly, highly doubt that I'm going to be ranking up. But I still have tickets. And I'm still in the safe zone even with those. And so I will probably end up somewhere comfy in the safe zone. And maybe the next ranked mode rotation, I will be able to rank up to plat 1. And soon I can provide maybe some diamond one or sorry some diamond rank kind of content and the last thing that i would like to share with you guys is my skill and pal setup for the brawl that i use and for pvp that i use if you watched my other videos you're probably not surprised by this lineup it does say boss because i i seriously don't really care about the tags and the you know, I just change them whenever I really need them. Uh, you can, you know, I know people are different. If I need something right at the moment, I'll just swap it right there. That's just kind of how I am. So I just ignore the tag. This is not, I don't use this for bossing. Um, Shield is much better than Nature's Renewal. I'm just lazy with switching my, my tag names around. But this is what we're using. You know, we're using Clone Strike, Easy Breezy, Disarm, um, Smoke Bomb, and we are using Nature's Renewal. So this is the same exact setup I used in the Sleeper 101 video. And we have switched our pals around just a little bit. Benny came out since my Sleeper 101 video. And I got the Treasure Dragon, which I've been using to bump up my crit damage. It's going pretty good. So we have the Electric Pup. We have the Hipster Tortoise, which everyone should be using in PvP if you have it. Do not sleep on this. We have Benny the Rabbit, which is, he is actually really good. I really don't have any complaints about this pal, especially if you missed the early eggplant bundle. Then we have the Treasure Dragon, which is surprisingly giving me a lot of damage. I mean, even the skill crit sometimes is helping out a little bit, but it's mostly the basic attack crit damage that... I'm really liking about it. I'm still dabbling with it. We're going to go ahead and run at this brawl, right? We didn't use this in our Sleeper 101 video, but we're winning fights easier now that I have it. And we're going to check it out in the brawl. And finally, the Angel Deer. I Unless they come out with a better deer, uh, this isn't going anywhere. You know, this is like uh, one of the best pals in the game for Warriors. It's just solid. Until people start picking up on Dragonic Resonance and that being a worthy buy, there is no way to really punish this pal. It's solid on Warriors. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to share one more thing with you, actually, before I go. And it's that I got the ghillie suit from the Easter event, the Easter draw event. I did buy the $10 Brawl Pass for it. but Or Battle Pass, sorry. And um, yeah... Overall, I'm pretty happy about it. I do think it's the better looking of the three. I would like this one if you could take the helmet off, but I do. I don't think it looks really bad. I'm just kind of happy to get the you know the costume for only ten dollars. It is a three hundred pity roll, and so we really can't complain about that. You know, it's it's helping somewhere, right? One percent global attack is better than none. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update what's going on. You know, we have this family brawl going. I will give you guys the results of this as soon as I can. I will work on a family brawl strats video somewhere in the future. But for right now, we're going to work with the progress video, what time that I have that I can allocate to making content for you guys. And yeah, guys, I really appreciate it as always. Thanks a lot for the support. Don't forget about the Discord, huh? Because there's a lot of people there that can help you. There's a lot of really good players that have joined. So don't miss that. You know, check out the Discord link in the description. I'll include some Q&A analysis once again in my videos to help people just along the way. Keep it all kind of in one place in the, in the description. And yeah, guys, thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time.